so thank you very much, Matsui san. So my name is Yosuke Todo from NTT Secure Platform Laboratories. So from now, I explain the integral cryptanalysis on full MIST-1. So first of all, I explain the overview of my talk, <laughs> but the result is a very, very simple. So I propose the first theoretical single key cryptanalysis against MIST-1. So MIST-1 was proposed by Matsui in 1997, and uh, this cipher was standardized by many projects, ISO-INC, NSC, uh, CryptoRec, and uh, RFC-2994. So MIST-1, uh, because of, this is because so MIST-1 is uh, one of the most important cryptanalysis targets. So many researchers analyze uh, this cipher, but uh, there is no attack against full round MIST-1. But now I can reach as a crypt, I can reach the full round. So by using the Nobel technique, Nobel integral cryptanalysis. So in EuroCrypt 2015, I proposed a new technique to search for an integral characteristic and called the division property. So and uh, I applied the, the division property to generic attack against facial ciphers and uh, uh, SPN ciphers. Um, but uh, crypt this paper, so I applied this technique to crypt analysis on MISTI-1, and uh, I, lead the full round. I can lead the full round. So first, I create a new six round integral characteristic using the division property. And so full round of MIST-1 is eight rounds. So append two rounds in the key recovery step, so I can reach the full round. So as a result, uh, data complexity is uh, two to the 63.58 chosen plain text, and the time complexity is uh, two to the Y121. Uh, second one is a time complexity optimization attack, but unfortunately, so uh, this attack was already improved by Tia Baron, so in lamp session last day. So in this talk, I only focus on the improvement integral characteristic. So this is the specification of MISTI-1. So uh, it is a 64-bit block length, and the security level is a. Uh, 128 bits. So you, as you can see, so MIST-1 has facial structure uh, with FL function, and the recommended parameter is uh, eight rounds with five FL layers. So FL I12345 uh, is a FL function, and FL function has this structure. So FO function is a round function of MIST-1. Compared with other facial ciphers, uh, MISTI's round function is a little complicated because uh, this FO function has a recursive structure. So this is the structure of FO function. So FO function has three round MISTI structure using, and uh, FO function is a F function of MISTI structure. And this, additionally, FO function also has three round MISTI structure using a 9-bit S-box, S9, and a S7-bit S-box, S7. So uh, due to this recursive structure, MISTI-1 has a, a probable security against classical, differential, and linear cryptanalysis. So it may be impossible to analyze the full MISTI-1 using classical, <coughs> differential, and linear cryptanalysis. So many researchers analyzed uh, applied more more modern cryptanalysis to MISTI-1, for example, impossible differential, uh, higher order differential, and uh, integral cryptanalysis. Especially higher order and integral cryptanalysis is very, very powerful for MISTI-1 because algebraic degree of S9 and S7 is very small. So this is the history of higher order differential attack on MISTI-1. So, uh, so 1999, a seventh order differential without FL layers uh, was first proposed. And uh, by using this characteristic, a uh, five round without FL layer, uh, without FL layer was attacked. And 2004, um, so a new integral characteristic, uh, high order differential characteristic with FL layer was proposed. And uh, five round with four FL layers were attacked. 
And uh, 2009, uh, by using the uh, simple extension technique to print the size uh, of the integral characteristic, so 46 order differential with a fair layer were proposed. And uh, this characteristic covers uh, four rounds. And six rounds with four FL layers were attacked. And uh, one year later, uh, by optimizing the key recovery part, uh, seven rounds with four FL layers were attacked. And uh, 2012, um, by so using the heuristic uh, improvement of uh, seventh order differential, so 44th order differential with FL layer was proposed. And uh, uh, B15 is a uh, FSC this year, so actually uh, Baron op uh, optimized the key recovery part, and uh, uh, seven round with five FL layers were attacked. Okay, so how do we reach the full round? So, um, so uh, as uh, I explained the prelimin in preliminary, so the gap between seven and eight rounds is very high because the round function of mystery one has a recursive structure. So I think uh, all previous high order differential attack are based on the initial seventh order differential, uh, initial this one. So seventh order differential will exploit uh, the low degree of mystery S box, but the uh, more, order, more order degree, uh, high, more higher order degree cryptanalysis as uh, in this case, so the order of differences is higher. We have no technique that can exploit a such low degree. So, that, so this uh, integral characteristic is not uh, optimi op optimized. So, but uh, Euroclip 2015, I proposed a new technique, uh, division property. So this technique is a new technique to search for uh, integral characteristic. So it can well exploit low degree, uh, even if the order of differences is high. So by using this technique, so we have found a six round characteristic. Previous characteristic is four rounds, so it's uh, improved by two rounds. So next I took as uh, a concept of the division property. So we evaluate the propagation of the division property like the uh, differential and the uh, integral. So now, Let's consider differential cryptanalysis. So we evaluate the propagation from differential characteristic like delta x to delta y, a linear cryptanalysis, a gamma x to gamma y. These two characteristics are uh, very, very important because so impossible differential and the zero correlation linear cryptanalysis, uh, we also use this characteristic. But um, integral and higher order differential cryptanalysis uh, we can't uh, use this characteristic, so, and so alternatively, so we use the uh, integral property. So in the integral property, uh, we evaluate multi set and labeled all property, balanced property, constant property, and unknown property. And by evaluating, uh, this prop uh, by, evaluate, by evaluating the propagation of the integral property, uh, we can search integral characteristic. Uh, but uh, these four properties are uh, not sufficient to search for integral characteristic. So I introduced the division property. So in the division property, we use an uh, integer k and the uh, propagation of this integer value. So this is the concept of the division property. So assume that degree of S box is at most d. So now input mass set has an integral property a. So output also A. And input B, output is U. So it's a very, uh, it's a propagation of the integral property. But so now uh, we know the degree of S box is at most D. Uh, we prepare chosen print text such that D plus one bits are active as the output mass set has a balanced property. But integral property can't uh, treat this uh, useful properties. So I believe uh, some useful properties are hidden between A and B. So to exploit uh, this useful pro property, so we redefine each property by the same statement and reveal the useful property. So as preliminary, so I introduced a bit product function pi u. So much set, now we want to evaluate much set x, and uh, this element takes n bit value. 
So now uh, we prepare u from n bit value, and the behavior of pi u x is first we choose bits that corresponding bits of u are one, and output this and. So it's a pi u x. And next, we evaluate the parity of pi u x for all elements, so namely calculate this equation. Next, we evaluate whether or not the parity becomes zero. So if the parity is zero, the value of u belongs to u zero. Otherwise, the value of u belongs to u question. So division property focused on this separation between u zero and u question. So if all u such that humming weight of u is less than k belongs to u zero, so we say this mass set x has a division property dkn. This is the relationship between integral and the division property. So now, uh, so Mars set has an integral property A. So this Mars set also satisfies the division property dn. And uh, if the Mars set has an integral property B, this Mars set also has division property d2. So integral property can't treat properties hidden between A and B, so no, nothing. So, but uh, in the division property, uh, we can treat such properties using k is equal to three, four, five, and minus one. So finally, I took a propagation characteristic of the division property. So it's a, a most simple case, a basic propagation. Let S be an S box with degree D, so, and uh, set X is the input mass set, and set Y is the output mass set. So, YI is equal to SXI. So, now, assuming that X has a division property DKN, so then output mass set Y has a division property DK over DN. But if S box is a permutation, so in only this case, uh, X has a division property DN output. Uh, y has a division property d and n. It's a special case of the propagation. Uh, so finally, I took uh, vectorization. So it's a little complicating. So, but uh, it's very important because practical block cipher doesn't consist of one S box. So many practical block cipher consist of uh, several S boxes. So especially concatenating S box are uh, often used. So let S be a concatenating function that consists of MS boxes with degree D like this. So in this case, uh, division property is represented by some vectors and whose vector has M dimensional, M dimensional uh, elements. So it's very complicated, but uh, propagation is uh, simple. So in the propagation characteristic, we only focus on each element of each vector. And by using this basic propagation, basic propagation, so I calculate the output division property. So um, from now, I took the uh, integral uh, uh, new, new topic so on crypto papers. So your crypt 2050, I focus on secret S-box with restricted uh, algebraic degree, but practical block cipher doesn't use uh, such secret S-box. So many cases are public S-box and secret key insertion. But uh, single key XOR are linear, uh, sorry, sorry, since key XOR is a linear function, so we can remove the key XOR when we want to evaluate the propagation of division property because the division property does not change uh, against a linear function. So now uh, we can remove the key, uh, key insertion so attacker can know the specification of S-box. So by exploit exploiting the knowledge of the S-box, uh, we can improve it. So this is the application to Mystic S-box S7. So generally, seven-bit bijective S-box with degree three has following division properties. So for example, input mass set as a D6, output is D2, uh, because of the six over three is equal to two. Um, but for only Misty S box is seven, uh, D6 uh, is uh, D4 from D6. 
So generally, as k is small, uh, the merge set is near to balance. But uh, if the input merge set has a division property d for n from d six n, uh, it means the uh, speed to approach the balance is slow. So by using, uh, it's a uh, um, very important. So finally, I took the uh, cryptanalysis on full misty one. Um, but uh, using propagation characteristic of the division property, we create, uh, I create passage algorithm and I implement uh, by using a C++ and uh, create a, so in new integral characteristic. The method is first we create, I create a propagation characteristic table for S, S9 and S7, and next, uh, using this table, I create the table for FI function. Next, create table of uh, FO function, and next, create a table for FL function. And by assembling these all tables, uh, we create a, a passage algorithm. So, but the limitation of time, so I only explain the uh, propagation for the F, FI function. And this figure is a FI function. So FI function has three random misty structure with S9 and S7. So since bit lengths of each S box are different, so it uses zero extend XOR and truncate XOR. So to where evaluate the propagation, we uh, use a new representation for the FI function and uh, named the 727 format. This is the 727 seven format of the FI function. So by using this format, we can simply represent zero extend XOR and truncate XOR. So this is a zero extend XOR and it's a truncate XOR. So by using this circuit, we evaluate the propagation characteristic of the division property. So first of all, so I remove a round key because it's that it does not change the division property. So next, assuming x1 has a division property d426, so since the first seven bits and the second two bits are concatenated, so x2 as a division property, x is a d66, because a six, a four plus two is equal to six. Next, x2 has a six six, so since s9 is a bright, so x3 has three six from six over two is equal to three. Next, X3 has a 3, 6. So since the first nine bits is split into two bits and seven bits, so X4 has a 0, 3, 6, 1, 2, 6, 2, 1, 6. Um, but uh, we don't care 3, 0, 6 because the first line is at most two bits, so we can't choose uh, three bits from two bit space. So now X4 has uh, this division property. So since the second, the uh, next uh, operation is the uh, second seven bits uh, XOR with the last seven bits the and the uh, rotation. So the division property of X5 is calculated from 0, 3, 6 to like this, 1, 2, 6 to like this, 2, 1, 6 to like this. And the next uh, S7 is uh, bright. So first we calculate the propagation for S7 using a propagation characteristic table and uh, only apply the first element because uh, it's a first element. So next, uh, remove redundant vectors. Uh, by, uh, so using uh, this uh, evaluation, we create a propagation characteristic table like this. So it's a characteristic table from division property D7, K2, K3. So by using uh, similar technique, we create the propagation characteristic table for a FO function using 7 to 7, 7 to 7 format, and uh, FL function using 7 to 7, 7 to 7 format. And uh, by assembling uh, these old tables, we create a passage algorithm uh, to entire MISTI one. Uh, finally, uh, we create uh, this algorithm to by uh, using a C++. So we get uh, two to the six, uh, we get a six round integral characteristic with two to the 63 chosen print text. So, and this means that first bit of the uh, first seven bit is constant and other bits, other 63 bits are active. 
then uh, this first seven bit value has balanced. Uh, so next part is uh, key recovery. But uh, now um, integral characteristic covers six rounds, so only two rounds key recovery. So I want to evaluate this balanced value from this cipher text and I guess a uh, round key and evaluate this balance. Um, partial sum technique is useful for uh, the, this evaluation. So, and uh, I do it and uh, I did the full round cryptanalysis. Uh, so, last topic is uh, balance optimization. So, yeah, last day lamp session. So, uh, this, uh, optima uh, this new uh, improving technique was proposed. So, I so uh, summarize the uh, difference between my key recovery and uh, my technique and the balance technique. So first of all, uh, no improvement of integral characteristic. Namely, so it uses the same six round characteristic. So improvement is only key recovery part, but uh, in key recovery part, uh, Baron uses a more intelligent technique. So for example, a setting is that I, I use a CPA, but the Baron uses a CC and then CPA. And the key recovery is I only use partial sum, but the Baron uses a partial sum and meet in the middle technique. And so as a result, data complexity is the same. Uh, data complexity optimization attack is the same result, but the time complexity is dramatically reduced to the 69.5. But uh, this uh, cryptanalysis uses full code book uh, two to the 64 to the print text and uh, uh, full code book cryptanalysis. Finally, I conclude my talk. So I propose the cryptanalysis against full misty one. So division property proposes the e existence of the characteristic that covers six rounds with two FL layers. So following work, so actually Baron optimized the key recovery path and uh, so the, now uh, security level of Misty one reduced to about two to the 70. But the early, I left open problem, so how do we, how to analyze the full Misty one with more practical number of text? So thank you very much. Thank you.